Once upon a time, in the frozen north, there lived a wolf. Not an ordinary wolf, but a great blue wolf. He had a big long nose that helped him to find prey to eat. He had big sharp teeth that helped him to catch and eat his prey. He had big round eyes that helped him to see clearly in the dark. And he had thick furry hair that helped him to keep warm and survive in his cold environment. But one day, very suddenly, the blue wolf had to leave his home and make a new one in gray Africa. In the lands of gray Africa, where the grass was gray and the skies were blue, and warm, there lived four other animals. An elephant, a cheetah, an eagle, and a panther. were well adapted to their surroundings, having grown up and spent their whole lives there. Why, good morning, fellow creatures. How are you on this fine day? Who are you? We've never seen your face. I am the wolf, and I'm new to this place. New? Well, I'm sure that you don't belong. Yes, all your features seem so wrong. And with that, the animals of Grey Africa pointed out all the things that made the wolf different. What a big long nose you have. <laughs> all the bird to smell my prey with. What big sharp teeth you have. All the bird to eat my prey with. What big round eyes you have. All the bird to see clearly in the dark. What thick furry hair you have. All the bird to keep me warm. But the other animals did listen to the wolf's replies. They whispered for a moment, then turned to the wolf and said, You don't belong here. You're not welcome. You're not one of us. You really should leave. And with that, the wolf disappeared into the trees. And 
with that, the boy and girl carefully walk the long way home. The next day, the boy and girl walk to the well to fetch some water. The cheetah saw them coming and grinned. Well, good morning, Cheetah. How are you in this fine day? Why, I'm fine, thank you. But don't wait for grief. There's a terrible creature with big, sharp teeth. Big, sharp teeth? Oh, yes. He's your worst nightmare. He's a big, bad wolf, and he'll give you a scare. At that point, the cheetah turned and sped away. I wonder what he looked like. I hope he doesn't bite us. And without a sound, the boy and girl quietly walked the long way home. The next day, the boy and girl walked to the well to fetch some more water. The eagle saw them coming and grinned. How are you in this fine day? Well, I'm fine, thank you. But you're having a nice surprise. There's a miserable creature with big round eyes. Big round eyes? Oh, yes. Be careful where you walk. He's a big red wolf, and he'll watch you like a hawk. At that point, the eagle turned and flew away. I wonder what he looked like. I hope he doesn't see us. So hiding in the shadows, the boy and girl sadly walked the long way home. The next day, the boy and girl walked to the well to fetch some more water. The panther saw them coming and grinned. Well, good morning, panther. How are you on your fine day? Why, I'm fine, thank you. But you should beware. There's an impossible creature with thick, furry hair. Big furry hair? Oh yes, you can be sure he's no pup. He's the big bad wolf and he'll eat you both up. At that point, the panther turned and leapt away. I wonder what he looked like. the boy and girl quickly walked the long way home. The next day, the boy and girl walked to the well to fetch some more water. The wolf saw them coming and grinned. Well, good morning, children. How are you on this fine day? Who is this creature? I've never seen an animal like that before. He has a big long nose. And big sharp teeth. His eyes are big and round. And he has thick furry hair. Oh, oh. help! Oh no! It's the big bad wolf! Run! <laughs> Scared.
Scared and afraid, the boy and girl ran until they reached the well. With nowhere else to hide, they began to climb the well, when suddenly, the girl tripped and fell. Ah! The girl began screaming from the bottom of the well. Help! Oh, help! Are you okay? I will call for help. Help! Help! Anyone, please help us! The first to arrive was the elephant. He put his long trunk down into the well, but turned and said, It's no use. My nose is long, but I cannot see. Whatever shall we do to get this girl free? Next came the cheetah with his big sharp teeth. I could grab her with my big sharp teeth and pull her out, but I can't reach her. Whatever shall we do? Seeing the danger from high up above, the eagle flew down. I can see her quite clearly, but I'm afraid it's no use. My wings are too big to help the girl loose. Whatever shall we do? Then the panther leapt up from amongst the trees her thick furry hair shining in the breeze. I could keep her warm with my thick furry hair if only we could get her out. Whatever shall we do? At this point, there appeared by the well a creature with a big long nose, big sharp teeth, big round eyes, and thick furry hair. I come in peace. I can help if you only give me a chance. Don't trust him. You heard what the other, other animal said. Uh, he's our only hope. <laughs> so with his big long nose to help find the girl, and his big sharp teeth to help pull her out, and his big brown eyes to help see into the well, and his thick furry hair to help keep her warm, the big kind wolf pulled the girl out and all the animals cheered. Hooray! Hooray! Then turned to the wolf and said, If it wasn't for your long nose, the girl could have died. I'm truly sorry for teasing you. If it wasn't for your sharp teeth, she probably would have fallen back into the well. I'm truly sorry for teasing you. If it wasn't for your big round eyes, I'm sure you wouldn't have found the girl. I'm truly sorry for teasing you. If it wasn't for your thick furry hair, the girl might have died from the cold. I'm truly sorry for teasing you. Now I know what he looks like. He's not the big fat wolf. I hope he'll be our friend. Thank you animals, girl and boy. You've been my heart with food with joy. And so the wolf lived happily ever after in Grey Africa. And all the other animals learned that you should never judge a person by what others say. Always find out the truth for yourself. <laughs>